Hello and welcome to another video of my collection. This time it's the PlayStation 1. You want it, now you got it. In this first row, Final Fantasy VI. Should I, need I, tell you something about this great game? I don't think so. Final Fantasy VI is maybe the best of the whole series. It has the best story, the best characters, the best world theme. The terror theme is awesome. It has a nice, um, uh, should I say, theatre or orchestra or opera scene. I think opera scene is the right term. It's absolutely an amazing Final Fantasy game and this version of the PlayStation is absolutely gigantic. If you get a chance to get it, it's worth it. Speaking of giants, Final Fantasy VII is the maybe the Final Fantasy game of the whole series. It was the first Final Fantasy in Europe and it's absolutely gigantic. It's a great game. It defines the series. It's maybe the pinnacle of the series. And this game is absolutely awesome. Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, a lot of people don't like this title. Maybe it's too Western. It's not so basic anymore. It has so many things um, to do. But believe me, this is a great game. Uh, Final Fantasy IX. Um, a lot of people think it's maybe the other side. I think that's too, too animal, too Eastern, too Japanese, but this is a really great game. And if you see uh, from 6 to 9 these games, believe me, if everybody tell me 10 is the best game, you douchebags never played the, the real good games or what? Believe me, 9 is so much better than 10. Uh, do yourself a favor and play it, believe me. Origins, Final Fantasy 1 and 2, it's great versions, it's great games, okay they are very basic, but believe me, you will have a lot of fun with it. Final Fantasy Anthology, uh, really interesting, where is no 3, this contains 4 and 5, 3 was only released in Europe on a DS, don't ask, um, but this is 4 and 5. 4 is considered as one of the best Final Fantasy with the best story. I think the Cecil and Kane story is very good. Um, also Golbus is a very nice villain. But believe me, um, I'm more the guy for Final Fantasy 6. Uh, Shocobo Racing. If you need a Mario Kart clone with Final Fantasy figures Here's your kind of game. Well, it's all. This is Ehrgeiz. Yes, for German, Ehrgeiz. Um, it's a mixture of a dungeon crawler and a beat em up. And I think it only sold very well because it's cloud on it and it has some Final Fantasy VII figures in it. That's the thing. If you are a hardcore collector, you need this game, but if you just want to play a uh, beat em up, believe me, there are so many better games than this. But I need it, I have it. And the next thing, Mortal Kombat Trilogy. The PlayStation version of the trilogy, um, it contains all the characters from 1 to 3 and I think also from Ultimate 3. It's interesting, it's Mortal Kombat. If you're interested in these, you can get it. Mortal Kombat 4. Um, I don't know if I like the N64 version a little bit better. Um, this version is for 3D beat em up. Never seen, never wanted. It's okay, it's playable, but I think it's not so great. So the reboot, the relaunch with, I think, Deadly Alliance was the next part, was a good idea. Mortal Kombat Mythologies Sub-Zero. If you want to re-feel the life of Sub-Zero, this is your kind of game. 
It's a mixture of a jump and run and beat him up. And it contains a lot of Abzat Zero. This version has for cutscenes, uh, the N64 doesn't have a cutscenes, we have just text. Here you have great corny cutscenes. You will love them, believe me. Maybe the worst Mortal Kombat ever. Special Forces is a dungeon crawl, shoot him up, something like that. It's absolutely crap, and I don't think what Midway wanted to do with this title. It's piece of shit. That's a fact. See you and after the cut. Hello to the second part and we start with a front row. Alundra or Alandra. It's an absolutely fantastic um, JRPG. It's really similar to Zelda, Illusion of Time, Terranigma, Secret of Mana. It's a really great game and I know a lot of people didn't know about this title, don't know why, but do yourself a favor, it's really worth to play, it's really good. The same thing to Grandia 1, it's a really nice JRPG, very cool uh, sounds, very cool stages, nice characters, it's really great. Heart of Darkness. If you know Another World, Flashback, or Lost in Shadow, or Limbo maybe now, uh, Heart of Darkness is the same. It's a really great puzzle game, has very corny humor, it's absolutely fantastic, has a really good style, and it's a very, this is an, an art game. Soul Blade, maybe better known as Soul Age. This is the PAL version of Soul Age a precessor of a So Calibur series and this is a really good beat em up. This is sword fighting and weapon fighting at its best. If you're interested in these kind of games it's really great. This maybe was Namco's masterpiece. It's a great game and it has a very good story mode. Very interesting. Medieval 1 and 2 it's uh, the typical 3D jump and run puzzle solving something. It's really interesting. Um, uh, I think it was really nice. So I uh, I have them till today. Um, it's a little bit darker than the typical jump and runs, but it's nothing really really special. Racing Gran Turismo and Gran Turismo 2. <sighs> Should I really say something about this great series? It's Gran Turismo. Maybe together with Forza Motorsports, this racing games defined the racing. It put racing not to just in sport, it's fashion. It's in, it's on vogue. It's great. So if you ever want to see, um, should I say car porn, I think this is your kind of games. So absolutely fantastic. And now, speaking of fantastic, the Stone Cold 316 era! Uh, well, wrestling was interesting. Um, this is Warzone, this is Attitude. This was, I think, the last games, uh, the last WWE, WWF games from Acclaim. And we are both great. The PlayStation 1 version of Warzone has um, some promos, some clips, some video clips from the wrestlers. The N64 doesn't have. Um, Attitude is much better than Warzone, has more effects. Um, so this is your kind of game. You see, this is the NTSC version. We are in Germany, you can guess by what, what this means. And this is for SmackDown series. SmackDown 1 and SmackDown 2. SmackDown 2, you see, know your role. You know, the SmackDown series used every damn catchphrase of The Rock. The Drain, The Rock, Johnson. Now, pretend to be an actor. Um, it's absolutely great. I think the first uh, SmackDown games was a little bit not so interesting, but uh, you can play them. Uh, SmackDown 2 has a bit of a problem of simulating the the computer playing matches. It's 
absolutely boring and absolutely long. Believe me, it's a pain in the ass. So, now, I think, after this little break, the last PlayStation 1 games. Stay tuned. Hello to the last cut, I think. And this is the last PlayStation 1 games I own. We start with uh, Nagano Winter Olympics 98. Yes, you know, I'm a Olympics and sports fanatic, so I've got this game and Sydney 2000. Um, you don't need that. Believe me. Yeah, nice to have if you are interested in track and field and hypersports and something like that. Of the old uh, Epix games, but uh, no, it's not the greatest thing. Formula 1 uh, 97, it's a uh, decent Formula 1 game, Formula 1 game, um, but it's nothing really, really special. It has the original license, but I think it's now standard, so it's not really spectacular. Porsche Challenge is a nice game. Uh, maybe you know Need for Speed Porsche. Uh, you have some uh, different Porsche cars and uh, it's a really fun action race. I think a lot of people didn't know this title but it's really interesting. It's okay. It's a nice fun uh, racer and on a two-player it makes really really fun. Spider-Man! 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 Web crawling on PlayStation! Spider-Man! Yeah. You know uh, the good old Peter Parker? Yes. Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Sorry to spoil you. This was a really interesting um, game. It's really good playable. I mean, it's one of the better Spider-Man games. Uh, so, if you're interested in uh, good old Marvel games, here's one. This is Parasite Eve 2. You know, I like Parasite Eve 1 much more. And I think 3 is shit. Uh, PlayStation uh, Parasite Eve 2, it's okay, it's only okay, so if you like the concept of one, it's a little bit changed in this version, but it's still playable, it's not really great, but it's playable. Cardinal Sin, you know Mortal Kombat, and this is maybe Mortal Kombat in 3D. Um, this is really bloody, this is really gore, this is a pure gore fest, it has nice finishing moves. Um, if you're interested in a little bit brutal battles, not like Tekken or Street Fighter, uh, this is your kind of game. You need to love Mortal Kombat, to love Cardinal Sin, believe me. Rich Racer Revolution, it's a Rich Racer game, yes, it's Rich Racer. You know Rich Racer, and this is the same. It's okay, it's an action racer, but that's all. <laughs> Final Fantasy Tactics. Never released in Europe, thanks Square. It's an absolutely masterpiece. It's uh, based on Tactics Ogre, I think. It's Final Fantasy in a tactic style, maybe you know, like Fire Emblem or something. And this is an absolutely masterpiece. This is 100 hours and more fun. Believe me. If you ever get a chance to play this game, this is worth it. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. The sequel to Rondo of Blood. And this is absolutely gigantic. This is an awesome game. This was one of the games because I needed a PlayStation 1. It's absolutely fantastic, great soundtrack, great style, great gameplay, everything is perfect in this game, believe me. Silent Hill, the first and maybe, uh, some discuss Silent Hill 2 is the best. I like Silent Hill 1, I like the style, I like the absolutely atmosphere, it was horror. Walking on this uh, railways, walking on uh, this the steel uh, floors, it's absolutely frightening. This is a masterpiece. I love the Silent Hill series and I love the first one. If you're ever interested in these kind of games, this is the start. This is a pure masterpiece. Believe me. Metal Gear Solid, maybe, or oh, 
I say it, the best Metal Gear till today. Metal Gear Solid has an add-on special missions, I think 300 virtual missions you get, I think. It's absolutely gigantic. If you ever interested in the, the Snowlit Snake, Grey Fox, Big Boss series, this is your game. It's that great. Uh, the remake Twin Snakes is also great, but I think, speaking of the soundtrack, uh, Twin Snakes looks much better, of course, but I think the soundtrack in Solid is a little bit better. It's not so over-remixed and overclocked. Um, this is better. So, this was my PlayStation 1 collection. I hope you have enjoyed with a little bit longer videos. I think we're now by 15 minute mark. Uh, believe me, there will be more in the future. Please rate, leave a comment, subscribe if you want. And we'll see us next week. Bye bye.